Hello friends, I welcome you to the very first class on writing the test cases. A very excellent topic. Now we are going to write a test case. Let's go ahead and let's begin this. Now, so we have a Gmail application. We have a Gmail application and we are going to write a test case to check whether after logging into the system, whether it's taking me to the inbox or not. Means I have a valid username and password. So after performing valid username, password and clicking on sign up, my agenda is it should take me to inbox. Moving to the inbox is what I am expecting. I am not trying to test any login operation. That is not my primary criteria. I have valid username and password with me. Only one thing what I am supposed to test it, whether it is taking me to the inbox or not once after logging into the Gmail account. This is what my primary intention is. As simple as that okay now let's go ahead and let's write the test cases to check whether system is navigating to inbox after successful login so for that let's plan the test cases here we go so here we have a test case document now so let's try to write the test cases simple so the project name let me take it as uh, gmail and the module what you are trying to test uh, something like inbox documents refer uh, let us take something called frs and author is mr kiran so i'm writing it so it's uh, kiran it's me so now let's try to write the test cases the first ID, test case description, sorry, the first one, test case ID or name. So here, we know that it should start with one unique number followed by a naming convention. So let me start it with test case 001 followed by, we are trying to test Gmail application in that we are trying to test something which is related to the inbox functionality, simple. Okay, now test case description. This test case description is nothing but why we are conducting the test. What is the reason behind conducting test case 001? As simple as that. So, why we are conducting the test case 001 to check whether it is taking us to the inbox or not? To verify whether. system navigates to inbox after successful after successful login so to verify whether the system navigates to inbox after successful login this is what my test description is this is what my core intention is this is what my goal is so let's start with the step one and what is the step one we need to enter the url so open browser open browser enter url and click on go or hit enter so what just click on go so what is the test data here the url what you are supposed to write so that is www.gmail.com gmail so if you enter url and click on go so what we can expect we can expect that system should open gmail page with the login facility system should display gmail login page as simple as now in the same test case now i am taking a step two in a step two what i am trying to do is i am going to write username enter valid username or enter valid email so what it 
enter valid email and click on next click on next basically in the gmail we have something called next after entering your email you need to click on next so what is that email you are going to enter so that you can write it testing one two three just at the rate gmail.com perfect so whenever we enter valid email and click on next so system accepts email and it will display password field so that we can enter the password so what i can expect here system should display password field system should display password field okay so after entering valid email and click on next so if it is the successful email then system should display password field so here we are writing everything is a valid data so obviously it should display a password field step 3 enter after that after entering a valid data and if you click on next see here it will display the password box the next thing we need to enter the password and click on sign in that is your next task enter password and click on sign in and what is your password something called abc so let's say this is the password so once after entering a password and after clicking on sign in so what we can expect it so we are expecting that it should take you to the inbox right so now system should navigate to inbox system should navigate to inbox so once after navigating or else our primary intention is that it should navigate to the inbox once it is uh, navigating to the inbox then everything is fine right yes so system should navigate to inbox as simple as that this is what so when it should navigate if you click on password so this is the password so this is how we write the test cases okay so according to the requirements whenever i write username password and click on sign in it should navigate to the inbox this is what writing the test cases chalo we have written the test cases after few days now my application is ready now my application is ready i need to test my application okay so if you want to test an application you need to perform the step description on the end application okay so let's perform it so my application is ready now so what does the step one says it is saying that open browser enter url and click on go so we'll do that so we'll open a browser we'll enter a gmail.com system had displayed a option where we can provide our email addresses so what is the actual thing happened whenever we entered gmail.com so let's assume that system had so earlier i said system should because i was expecting there now system had displayed gmail login page as simple as that. so earlier i was expecting that it should display gmail login page and that is the thing what actually happened so i can say that the system had displayed gmail login page 
so after that enter valid email and click on next so let me enter some valid email address and just click on next here we have entered address and i have clicked on next so what is the actual behavior it has accepted it and you can see the password field there system had displayed as displayed password field perfect now let me enter my so so let us enter the password and just click on next and what's the actual behavior of your application it's loading in loading 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 here we go we are into inbox successfully we are into inbox on the screen so system had navigated to inbox perfect so see here now the status so what we have expected and it is one and the same the step one has been passed and step two also we have expected that it should move on to the password field yes it has displayed the password field and the final one if you click on sign in it should take you to the inbox and that's happening on the screen so it is working according to the expectation it is working according to the requirements as simple as that now see here what we have done we have written the test cases first and once the test cases are ready and when see your application is ready whatever the test cases we have written we have executed the step by step means whatever the step says step one what is step one is saying enter browser enter url and click on go the same thing whatever the step description says we need to perform that on the end application and as a manual tester you need to watch the actual behavior if you click on browser what's happening if you click on email what's happening if you click on next what's happening entering the page what's happening so what's the system is responding so that literally you need to record it here so one you need to write the test cases in a manual testing you need to perform the operation according to the step description this is a point to what we need to remember then not only performing the operation you need to watch the actual behavior and you need to write that in the actual field and not only that after writing that in the actual field you are the one who is going to judge that whether it is really working according to the expectation or not so you are the one who is going to give the status as pass or fail as simple as that this is what in a general a simple test case what we have written as we go into the subject we will be writing lot of the test cases now let's go ahead and let's start writing the test cases this is the basic test case what we have written in a coming video we will be writing much more excellent test cases